In this video, we'll be discussing a license change to ANSYS Discovery in Release 25R1. In this release, the licensing structure of Discovery Modeling and Discovery Simulation are being switched to a Pro, Premium, and Enterprise structure. The Discovery Modeling and Discovery Pro licenses are more or less identical in terms of capability, and the Discovery Simulation and Discovery Enterprise licenses are identical as well. The new Discovery Premium license offers a mid-level option. There was one additional capability added to the Discovery Pro license that was not available in the Discovery Modeling license. The ability to do basic single part stress analysis. This allows the users with access to the Discovery Pro license to try out the simulation capabilities that are available in Discovery. This video will dem demonstrate this added capability. In this demonstration, we're going to be looking at this simple bracket. So I'm going to set up my structural analysis by defining some boundary conditions to these holes. In this case, I'm going to add a fixed support. And I'm going to repeat for this hole. And at the other end of the bracket, I'm going to apply a force. Now that my loads and supports are defined, I can go ahead and solve this model. And we can plot all of the usual results like displacement or von Mises stress. In this case, we can identify our area of max stress. It corresponds to this pocket feature on the bottom of the bracket. And I'm going to use the fill tool to remove this feature to get rid of that area of maximum stress. So I've selected all of the faces that make up the pocket and I'm going to use the fill tool to remove that feature. And as soon as that feature is removed, the solver is going to run again with the same loads and supports and I will get instant feedback on how that design affects my results. We can use the trackers that exist to track how our maximum stress changes as we change the geometry. In this case, it has fallen from about 52 MPA down to 44 MPA. Now I'm going to reduce the stress further by making another modification. I'm going to use the pull tool to add some more material here, make it about three millimeters thicker. And once again, as soon as I make that change, the solver is going to run again with the new geometry and give me feedback for how my stress has changed. So now you can see my maximum stress has fallen from 44 MPA down to 33 and a half. And the maximum location once again is at a different location. So now I'm going to add some more material up here with the move tool. And to do this, I'm going to select these faces and use the move tool to make the whole bracket a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna make this two millimeters thicker. Now that I've made the change, the solver is running again and I can get some more feedback as to how that has changed my maximum stress. So we have now fallen from 33 down to 31 and my maximum stress has moved to this radius again and if I want, I can use the pull tool to increase this radius, let's just say to eight millimeters. That should reduce the stress even further. So that maximum stress is still in that same location, but it has fallen again from 31 MPA to 29.4 MPA. So this is a quick example outlining some of the simulation capabilities that is now available in the Discovery Pro license. Thank you for watching.